Hey everybody, it's Ricardo here at the PAX East show floor with Mr. Ken Levine, who's here Hello. yet again uh, for another PAX. Now, why do you guys come here? You guys are a local developer, but... Well, we, look, we love PAX and we come to PAX, well, A, because it's local, which is great. And like, there's no, gaming doesn't come to, to Boston a lot. You know, we're gamers in Boston, so it's great to have a show that you don't have to get on a plane for that's just right here. And, but more importantly, PAX as a show is just something that, um, it, it's so fan oriented. And like, this is not a show where we're like, okay, we're gonna show our new demo and we're gonna have this, we're gonna have that, and here's our marketing message. This is a show about our fans. And so everything we're doing for the, this show is fan service, basically. You know, we, we built this, you know, the statue and hired this woman to play Elizabeth, and we're giving all these giveaways, and we have this party we're doing tonight that's for the community and for our fans. We're inviting them all. We're gonna have like board games there that we're gonna like people from Irrational we playing board games with people. Like people who, play, who win the game, we'll you know give them copies of the game. And we just want to say, you know, not just say thanks. So that's that's the easiest thing to do. But we also want to meet them and get to know them a little bit better. Um, and what's great about here and being able to be in Boston is instead of like hiring people to man the booth, we just have all the staffers come to man the booth. All the staffers come and man the party. All, all the game developers, so they get to interact with these people that they only normally, you know, read their comments online. You have people coming up, oh, I'm so and so from the forums. You're like, oh, you're that guy. Um, and um, that's really fun for us because really, you really develop games in a vacuum a lot of times. You don't get to interact with your fans. Now, one of the cool ways that you guys interacted with the fans was yesterday when you did a panel yeah. where, unlike a lot of developers that are very protective about the image of their game, you guys showed kind of a warts and all view of the making of Bioshock Infinite right now. Yeah. Um, why do something like that? Well, you know, I think we've always tried to do think about how we talk about the game or promote the game a little differently than other people. Like our podcast is really about seeing how we work. Um, you know, where and 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 for, and for for this panel, instead of doing like a GDC talk when you're done, when you're sort of you're confident how everything worked out, we wanted to bring people into the process and say to them, look, we're just a bunch of guys trying to figure this thing out, you know, and trying to make it good. And sometimes we make right decisions, and sometimes we go the wrong way. And we thought instead of waiting for the game to be done. Let's show you, we've been working on this game for a few years, let's show you some of the interesting decisions we've made, some of them right and some of them not, you know, some of them maybe not so right. And I think it gives people insight into how we make decisions. And I think gamers appreciate that. I think that they like to feel that they're not just being handed stuff, that they're part of the process. And, you know, we're pretty, we've always been pretty transparent about how we work and about, you know, I talk about the challenges we have, the good stuff we have, the challenges we have, and we try to be try quite open about that because that's, Gaming has always been like that. It's always been an interactive um, process with gamers. Now, in meeting your fans here at the show, you know, are you surprised by like the the range of people that you meet, or do you guys already have a feel for who your fans are? You know, it, it's evolves. I mean, because you know, I think that when gaming when I started, it was much more what you think of as a traditional gamer. You know, and I love that. You know, I love those guys. The guys, you know, they got their D4s in their pocket, and you know, they're and they're super super hardcore. But I think, and that's great, and you definitely see that contingent of packs. You also now start seeing people that you wouldn't traditionally think of as gamers. Um, you know, like, you know, maybe people a little older, or people a little like, oh, that guy looks super hip or something, you know, and he's like in all fancy clothes or something. And that's great, because I think we need that. We need a variety of people, you know, in, in this space. And uh, we get a lot of people saying with Bioshock, like, oh, this is the first video game my wife ever played, you know, because she never plays video games. And I think it's because, not because it's like Bioshock is a really easy game to play, I think it's because it's thematically different. Um, and, but, and I think that's great. I think, you know, it's, the more people we bring into gaming, the better. Um, but we also, it's great that we, things like PAX Protect, you know, it, it doesn't change, we, it doesn't change to accommodate those people, it just is what it is and people are drawn to it. And that's really important. Awesome. Well, we're going to let you mingle with your people at your little party. Uh, but we will be bugging you in the months to come because we think you might have a few things to say about Bioshock Infinite. One or two, Ricardo. All right. Well, thanks so much, man. There you go. That is just a quick check-in from here from the PAX East show floor. We're going to have a lot more for you soon.